Okay, welcome to the Crush It team call. It is Monday, October 7th, I think it is. And we have the pleasure today of listening to Deb Capaccio, who's going to teach us some cool stuff. Um, but before we get into that, two things. We are going to hear quickly from Courtney, who's going to talk about the Emerald Group that is about to start, just to clarify a few things. Uh, but before she does that, let's jump right into recognition. Who, just unmute yourself. Um, just, it's the button in the middle. I'll go, Mike. Uh, yes, go ahead. I want to shout out Dashi. She hit success starter in her second month of business, and she's well on her way to earning her free ticket to Summit in New Orleans next year. She will no doubt crush it. She just has to sign one more person this month, which I know she'll do. And yeah, she's doing absolutely amazing. It's not amazing when they're almost hit it in like the first week. It just... That's why everybody says try and hit SC in the first week because it just takes that pressure off. Awesome. Anybody else? I was going to welcome my new coach, Melissa Rutland. I'm not sure if she's on yet. Um, followed me on social media. We connected, wanted to be a challenger, and then was like, you know what? I want to go all in and do coaching. So welcome to Melissa. I would like to shout out Morgan Thacker, who... Um, like Katrina's coach has uh, hit her first success club starter month. So two more and she'll have her free ticket to summit. And she started in the middle towards the end of September. So awesome job, Morgan. Anybody else? Going once, going twice. Gone. Okay, cool. Uh, let's jump right into Courtney. If you want to unmute yourself and kind of explain the Emerald Group, how that's um, operating or about to operate, that would be awesome. For sure. So a little bit about why we did this Emerald Group, guys. I think so many of us in this business think that Diamond is this huge, shiny thing that we all will one day, should, could, would achieve. You need Emeralds to get there. So this is a gift to everybody on this team who needs emeralds in order to get to diamond. We started this group. All the top coaches on the team have collaborated and put together some um, content. It's going to be action focused. So yes, there is going to be training and tips and tools that you can save to your phone and pass to your coaches to help you in these conversations. But it is for people who are ready to take action and to become emerald. And why should you become Emerald? Because are we here to make money or are we not? We're rolling into the Christmas season. If you are a coach and you are not Emerald yet, become Emerald. That is the whole point of us sacrificing our family time to be on these calls, to reach out, to talk to people. Like the only reason we're doing that, right, is to help people make money, change our lives. So let's do that. We started this group and I was like, oh my God, there's going to be so many people in it. And there's nine people in it. Guys, this is an amazing opportunity. It's $25 buy-in. And you know what? You can probably bank on a lot of people not doing enough and you'll make the money. So pay $25 Canadian, get into this Emerald group, become Emerald before Christmas and make some money to buy your family more Christmas gifts. Like this is an absolute no brainer. I hope that every single person on this team reaches out to your coaches that are not Emerald and gets them into this group. And if you have somebody that cannot afford $25, you might want to consider paying that for them. Um, this business is so much about building each other up and teamwork. And, you know, Kim and Jamie have talked about their big goals and we talk about ours with our team. Like, if you are just a coach and you don't have big goals, do this for your coach. Become Emerald for your coach. We are in Q3 and we need to focus on what our goal is. And I really, really believe this group is going to help you. So how to join, Jamie created an event, which I think has confused some people. The event is with all the information on how you can join. So go to that event by clicking going. It did not get you in this group. You need to read that event details do the PayPal and then click the link to join the group. The group starts on the 10th and it ends on the 24th. 
If you um, enter qual on the 24th as an emerald, you will earn a pot portion of the pot. If you um, finish your qual with two extra coaches and emerald, you will get a bigger portion of the pot. So um, I hope that is clear and I hope that a ton of you go and join that group tonight. Sorry, I got distracted. I thought Gerard Butler was on the call, but it's just Batu. Um, it, for, the, for those of you who are new, yes, they're, they're, I'm here all night. Um, for those of you who are new, it's really simple. An emerald coach is just one coach on your right of your tree, one on your left. Very simple, easy. For me, it was my wife went on Shakeology, my dad did. Boom, Emerald. That's how easy it is, but they're gonna, you're going to get more information in this group, okay? Um, without further ado... Sorry, Mike, can I oh. interrupt you? No, I'm, I'm on a roll. You can... Uh, I just, I'm so sorry. I just got a message from Erica on behalf of Erica. She's at the Leafs game. She's desperately trying to get on and really wants to shout out her coach, Jessica Hay. Jessica is a brand new coach who turned Emerald. She is absolutely crushing it, has an amazing transformation really is the proof the product works and yeah she definitely deserves a massive recognition for that so congratulations jess very cool um okay cool so for for deb and i deb you saw i kind of talked about it in my stories um i've got so much admiration for deb just because she treats this I know this is going to sound funny, but like a business. She's one of the few people from day one who has treated this like a business. And again, I everybody comes into this for different things. Some people want the discount with Shakeology. Some people just want a hobby, you know. Most of us would love, I mean, you're crazy if you don't. I think I talked about this last time. I think we would all dream, wow, wouldn't it be cool to have this as my full-time gig and be able to do this full-time? Not everybody, but for a lot of us. So since the beginning, Deb has realized that yes, it's a $19 a month or in the US, whatever it is, $14.95 um, fee, but she's always, always treated this like it's a half a million dollar investment. She just does the work, right? She never types on her team calls, oh, hey, sorry, I can't make it. My brother's sister's uncle's cousin has a soccer game that I really, not that that's a problem, but I'll be honest with you, I don't care. I'm not her boss. I don't, I don't care she's not gonna be there. So when people are like, oh, I'm not gonna be there, but you know, it, to me, Deb has just done the work. And that's where, and I know she's had another business before, so she gets that. And sometimes it's hard for people who have been trained in business, in, in, as an employee, that they're always told what to do all the time. And it's like a child when all of a sudden you give them the freedom to go out, they don't quite understand what to do with it. But Deb always has. So that's why I'm really excited to announce uh, her um, and what she's gonna explain to you guys. And again, Yes, it's recorded, but I would still take some notes as you're going, some key points that are going to click for you because this is a pretty cool thing she's going to explain. And I love actionable calls, if you know what I mean, um, where it's like, okay, what do I do next? Oh, and, and then what do I do next? She's going to get right into it. And if we have time, if I shut up, um, we might even do a little run through at the end if there's time where we can all practice it kind of like a life power hour. So Deb, um, Deb's been coaching for 10 months uh, and she is a one star. She's so close to two star um, diamond, meaning she has one diamond under her already, pushing for a second diamond under her. Um, so here you go, Deb, uh, take it away. Thanks. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, okay. So, hi everybody. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I wrote a sticky note that says, stop yelling, because I tend to talk really loud when I'm nervous. So if I'm shouting, I'm not shouting at you, it's because I'm excited. So my name is Deborah Capaccio. I've met many of you. Some of you I have not had the pleasure. As Mike said, I've been coaching about 10 months. 
And um, when I made this decision to coach, I made the decision to go all in and treat this like a business. And I made a decision that I was going to be successful. And when you want to be successful, I don't know about you, but you want to be successful like yesterday. So um, I just decided, I, what do I need to do to move the needle as quickly as possible? That being said, when you kind of start coaching, it's such a different world um, than really anything. If you hadn't worked in an MLM, which I hadn't, and there's a learning curve and it takes time and um, you know, questions, questions, questions. And I feel like I finally, now I'm in month 10, started to get a bit of a groove and figure out a system to work smarter, not harder. And so I came up with this kind of organizational system that I'm gonna talk to you guys about. And I started it a couple weeks ago. It's like really new. So it's the experimental phase, but I have signed six coaches in eight days. So I feel like it's working and I was telling Jamie about it and he wanted me to share. So just bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna try to share my screen. I've never done this before. Can you guys see that? Okay. Okay, so um, this is something I created. Uh, oh yeah, a couple things, Mike, as Mike, like Mike said, I think what we'll do is I'll, I'll run through the slides. There is a lot of info. Um, I'm happy to drop these slides like in a Google Doc somewhere for you guys. We can, you know, do that. But afterwards, if we have time, we are going to try to go back and maybe have you take the action on your phone. So hopefully you guys have your phones, but just try to take it in. And um, at the end, we'll go over questions so that I, you know, can kind of get through the info. So this is called the five by 10 rule, um, which is a system to fast track your business. I just got to close out this here. Okay. So what is the five by 10 rule? So this is a system that I came up with that I use to invite, connect, and grow my business. I just, I can't kind of get these pictures out of my way and I'm in my way. Okay. Um, I came up with it because I wanted to find a way to really focus and move the needle of my business and work smarter, not harder. And to me, the, the needle of our business is that meat and potatoes of the business activity tr tracker. And it's connecting, 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 inviting. So I was like, how can I take that meat and potatoes and really hone it, focus and be, you know, granular and move my business without doing it 10 hours a day. So like I said to you, I feel like there was a bit of like a couple week delay. I was like, well, I don't know if it's making a difference. And now I think it's starting to catch up. Um, I do believe that this is a numbers game, you guys. I think that we talk about reverse engineering. I strongly recommend that you kind of look into what that means and how it relates to our business. So to me, I, I am a numbers person and I kind of look like, you know, if you have only 10 people and you're trying to sell something to 10, well, you might not even get one. If you have 4,000, you're going to, to close a, de a couple deals there. So I said to myself, what is my goal? My goal is two star diamond by October 31st. I said it. And so if I need to get there, how many more coaches do I need? And if I need five coaches, how many people do I need to be talking to? Because for, I kind of feel like I've heard a statistic of one out of every 10 is a yes. I feel like it might be a bit less than that. So I said to myself, if I get one yes for every 20 no's, how many people do I need to be talking to in a month? We can do the math later, but it's a lot of people. It's a lot. So you need a lot of eyes on your social media. You need a lot of connections to hit a high SC and to advance your rank. And that's just a fact. And that's something that we just all have to accept, period. And once you kind of accept that, then what do you do to get those eyes and make those connections? 
I decided that I would use this system six days a week. Okay. I work my butt off six days a week. Sunday, I do not. I try to put my phone down. I don't use this system, but I do respond to questions and follow-ups if people ask me. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I use this system. So that's kind of a bit of an overview. We're going to go down what it actually means. But I want you guys to ask yourself prior to using this system, if you can say yes to the following questions. Am I a product of the product? Am I up to snuff with my nutrition? Am I committed to a program and products and document them daily on social media? Am I posting authentically and consistently on my social media and talking more than just about fitness? Am I doing my PD daily? And am I willing to work 100% consistently? So this is the caveat, you guys. This is the hard part. You know, we can follow top coaches and Melanie Mitro and whoever else, Kim, and people who have had success, but you really have to do the work. There's not a magic bullet. So this is a system that I think can help you be more efficient, but you've got to say yes to every single one of these things first before you're going to have sex, success with my system. Okay. So when you're a product of the product, it means that you're passionate, you believe in what you're selling, because if you are doing it and you're passionate, chances are someone else is going to believe you, okay? Your PD is huge. You've got to get over your roadblocks, your fear of inviting. So if you're feeling hesitant, you've got to go back to your PD. All right. So we said yes to all those, right? Fabulous. Okay. So we're going to move on. So what is the five by 10 rule in detail? Five categories I use to connect and invite. I decided to break them down into five categories because when it came time to connecting, I felt overwhelmed. I felt like, well, I've got some follow-ups to do. People need for my challenge group, the coaching op. And me personally, I was all over the place and I was wasting time. So I'm like, what are the type of connections I need to make and how do I need to grow my following to get this reverse engineering? So I broke it down. New connections, Instagram follows, challenge group invites, coach op invites, and follow-ups, okay? We're going to go through each of those. When you're going through these categories, just so you know, you're going to do 10 in each. That's my 5 by 10 rule. You do not need to write names. That would take you all day long. It's simply a sticky, can you see that? Tick, tick, tick. So that's your 10 follow-ups, your 10 coaching. Easy, done, 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 okay? Another little um, thing that helps me immensely is text replacement. If you don't know what that is, if you're a newer coach, definitely talk to your upline. Text replacement saves a huge amount of time that doesn't mean I'm copying and pasting, you know, with, with no emotion and no specificity to the people I'm talking to. It's a general note that I tweak that saves time. Okay. So we're just going to go into each of these um, categories. So for new connections, this is the very first message that I send to somebody's inbox. I usually send it a day or so after I receive their friend request or a follow from them or vice versa. It's a very quick one sentence note that I'll say, hey, thank you so much for accepting my request. Great to connect with you. Have a good day. Done, click. Um, and I do a copy paste for that because that's a very easy one. Do not put their name in the text replacement. Um, add it after I have done that. I've said great to connect Jane and it was like Sarah and that's a disaster. So don't do that. Um, you hit send and you move on to the next and you do 10 of those every single day for six days. You don't have to do 11. You don't have to do nine. You do 10 and you move on. And when I first started this, as I would be doing that, I would get like a so-and-so accepted your friend request and I'd want to go in and and I'd be like, no, I'm gonna stay focused and just do these 10 and see what happens. So this I do, first thing I wake up, I have my coffee and my collagen 
And as I'm sipping my coffee and collagen, I do 10 of those, literally takes, well, I put two minutes, it probably doesn't even take two minutes, it probably takes one, okay? So next, Instagram follows. Did I miss one? No. Instagram follows. Okay, so um, part of our issue is and that when you're a newer coach, like when I started coaching 10 months ago, I only had 300 followers on Instagram and 800 friends. If you're only talking to that many people, which you're not even going to be talking to that many people, you are going to struggle. So you've got to increase your followers and your friends. So the next thing I do when I'm having my coffee is I follow 10 people on Instagram that I've either mutual friends with, and that's really, really quick because I just go to there. I don't overthink it. I follow, follow, follow 10 of them. The other way that I do it sometimes is I go to the hashtag of my avatar. And so you all should have hashtags of what your avatar is. If you're a newer coach and this doesn't make any sense to you, we do have training about it. You can go to your upline about it. So I'll go to my avatar. Let's say my hashtag is this is 35. I go there. I don't go to top. I go to recent. And I hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. If you go to top, those are usually people who have a massive following and they're not going to see you if you like their posts. You're going to get lost. I go to recent. The people under recent are, are just the average 35 year old woman who had a 35th birthday and she posted that hashtag. I look through those, I see if someone catches my eye, I see if there's someone that I think could be in my tribe and I like a couple posts, I like their posts and then I follow them and I move on, okay? So you scan quickly, get a feeling. I do 10, six days a week during my coffee Sometimes it takes a bit longer if you're doing the avatar and I want to be a little bit more selective. So I wrote 20 minutes. Okay. Next, I do 10 invites to my challenge group. So just by the way, those two categories I do before my workout and then I'm done for now. So before I've even worked out, I did 20 connections with people. So when people say they don't have time, I say, yes, you do because that literally took 15 or 20 minutes to connect with 20 people, okay? Then I do my workout, I do my Shakeology, I do my stories, I do my shower, and then when I'm ready, you know, if I'm working that day, I have, I know that I only have to do my last three categories. So my next category is to my challenge group. This is a direct invite. This is people who I already have a, an established connection with. So you, don't want to do a cold invite if you've never had a conversation with someone. You don't go, hey girl, you want to come to my challenge group? It's, it's cringy, okay? We, those days are like totally over. So make sure you've established a level of a conversation with them. If you've been liking their posts, following them. And then shortly after, sometimes I'll connect with them and sometimes it goes a bit longer. You kind of have to get a feel for that person. But the people that I choose this from are people who have been active on my social media. So these are the people that in the morning I look at my stories and I see who watched my stories. Then I go to them and go to their inbox. I think that's the next slide. And if I've already established a connection with them, sometimes I'll quickly sneak on their page and like a couple things. And then I'll send them that cold, that hard invite that says, hey, I saw you've been viewing my stories and following my journey, thank you so much. Just FYI, I have a new group starting next week, would love you to join, blah, 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 or whatever works for you. And then you hit send and you move on. I do use a text replacement depending on the situation, but I edit it. And I do 10 per day, six days per week. So this is a, just, I just wanna pause for a minute because I know we have a soul fit diamond group with some of the the coaches and it, it keeps coming up the inviting anxiety and and i saw a top coach do a youtube not long ago and she really talked about taking the emotion out taking the emotion out and i do that when i do these 10 invites i'm working i'm running a business i am inviting people to health and fitness and wellness 
It's an amazing thing. It's not leggings and nail polish. So if you can kind of come back to how it changed your life, put that in your mind and then just go to town. 10, send, send, send. And, and then I release it. Then I just release it and um, I don't think about it. I don't think about it. And that takes, I don't know if I wrote that. That might take 20 minutes. So, so far we're at 20, 40, 45 minutes. Okay, so the coaching op. This is um, your best bet usually, I think for most people they would agree to start, could be your existing challengers, of course. So always being in touch with your challengers. If they're not discos and if they are discos, you know, you start to talk to them about the coaching opportunity, posting about it, all that stuff. But when you, I don't think that's enough, depending how big your challenge group is, you need to constantly be co adding coaches, especially when you're trying to advance your rank. What happens is your current rank could fall off if people cancel their Shakeology and there's holes you've got to plug. So you constantly have to be inviting and growing your network. It's almost like that escalator. If you kind of slow down, you're going to go back down. So for my non-challengers on Facebook, I also go to my story viewers. I go to people who have liked my posts and those are always like the first, the, the first line, okay? Because they're involved, they're watching you, great. But sometimes I want to go a little bit deeper into my friends list because for actual coaches, you want to get people who you feel are part of your tribe, that they have similar values. Um, so it can get a little bit more detailed. So what I started to do, because I was a little bit lost in trying to find people, is I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to my friends list, which I have 4,500. And that's a huge benefit because there's tons of people that don't see my stuff all the time. Um, and I go alphabetically and I started at A, literally going through and being like, who's this? Okay. And, you know, a lot of times you'll get friend requests and sometimes I just accept, accept, and I don't have time to really look at who they are. It's just like a quick instinct. And so the good thing about going alphabetically really quick is I've discovered people that when I go in their inbox that I had had an exchange with them and I forgot to follow up with them. So that's a helpful thing. The other thing is you can audit your friends. Sometimes I go through them. I'm like, oh, I don't think that person should be my friend. And you can unfriend them because you want people on your friends list that are going to be people that you want to connect with. So if you already have an established connection, then you're going to send them a message. If you feel like, you know what? This girl, Julie, looks amazing. She's such a positive page. She, you know, I think she would be a great addition to my team. So what you do is you send an authentic, concise message that allows them to get a, pure, a you know, clear picture of what we do. I even kind of made this collage pic of our events, like with really bright photos, because those are like so attractive. People are like, what's that? And I just say, you know, hey, I was looking back at your page and I really feel like you would be an amazing addition to my growing team of inspiring women, whatever it is, and blah, 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 blah. And um, you send them that message and you'd be on your way. On Instagram, if I'm looking for coaches, there's a slightly um, different tool you can use. When you do the hashtag search, some people might know this. I, I just learned this about a month ago. Um, if, if I searched, this is 35 and I found this girl and she looked amazing for the coaching opportunity, what you can do when you click on her picture is you can click save and it will ask you to save to a collection. And I made a collection potential coaches and I just dump her, not dump her, I put her in there. So when I'm looking for, to go back later for coaching ops, I go into that folder and then I can send some messages there. Um, and then again, I do 10 per day, six days per week that can take 20 minutes or so, but not like tons and tons of time. When you're only doing 10, it really doesn't take that much time. Okay. So the last category is the follow-ups. These are so important. We've all heard everyone say the fortune is in the follow-up. Um, so, so true. Depending on the situation, you may reach out very quickly after you have an exchange, 
um, or it may be a month later, three months later, six months later. Um, we've gotten a lot of questions in our, our um, soul fit group about, um, well, how, how soon do I follow up? And you know, there's not really, it's not black and white. You've got to see what the situation is. If a coach said to you or a person said to you, you know what, I need a little bit of time. You're not going to message them the next morning because that would look desperate. But if someone's like, you know what, I think I'm ready. Yeah. Can you send me the share a cart? And I send it. I follow up pretty quickly after that. I'm like, Hey, I just want to make sure you got that. Are you ready to go? You know, something like that. But follow-ups are so, so, so key. So you need to assess the situation and you need to have a system for your follow-ups. This is so important. Um, some people use streak. I don't use that. I use the Mac notes. And what I do is um, I make lists by months. So right now I started my new one for October and I only write down the names of people that have shown interest. Okay. So I don't write anyone's name. I send a message to that would take way too long. So if I had someone reply back, yeah, can you please let me know more information that alone, their name will go on that list. Because even if they come back later and say, you know what, it's not a good time. When it's December, I get to go back to my September list and start pulling follow-ups from there. And I know coaches who have been around a long time will all agree. People who have said no four, five, six times will say yes on the seventh time. I've had people, I've only done this 10 months. I had a guy message me yesterday who was messaging me since January, who's just signed up. So you've got to follow up. And, you know, sometimes I'll up my follow-ups. I, I have it as a 10 time, but because I think they're so valuable, if I'm really like, I need, I need another, I, I really want to sign someone else that this week, like if I had a goal that I wanted to sign four coaches, I might up that to 15 messages. Okay. But that's getting super psychotic, which I'm a bit like that. Um, okay. So summary, am I screaming? I'm screaming. Okay. Stop yelling. It only takes 75 minutes to make 50 connections. If you break that down, that could be 30 minutes in the morning, 40 minutes in the evening, whatever, close to that. I think it's actually less. I just know that you have the time to move the needle in your business. Like this is the meat and potatoes. You, you do, what I do is I'm like, Deborah, do the five by 10 rule first. Sometimes I have to take a deep breath and be like, okay, but get out of your challenge groups, get out of the coach office, lingering all around, okay? Do the meat and potatoes, the five by 10 rule. Like I said, I started this two weeks ago. The first week I didn't see a difference. And the last week, six coaches in eight days. Okay. So I'm like, I think because I'm talking to so many more people than I ever did, that the numbers just kind of align. So decide how badly you want this and how quickly and remember you to be a badass CEO, you have to act like a badass CEO. The end. <laughs> the end. Okay. I like that. Thanks, Deb. You're welcome. How do I do stop? Wanna... Yeah, there you go. Stop sharing. Cool. Um, real quickly, does do people have some questions? Because I, I know there's a lot of new people on and even vets who are loving this. So um all the good comments uh just either put in the chat or if you want to unmute yourself and ask our little firecracker any questions hey deb i'll ask a question yeah what's your best advice for saying staying so focused i have such a hard time ignoring pop-ups and things and then i get lost in different places what's your best advice especially before your workout because if i even open my phone i've delayed for hours <laughs> So taking from the master herself, Kim Fitzpatrick, I swear to God, she said it, I shut my notifications are off and I commit that they're totally off. So I will say when I wake up in the morning, I can't help it. I look quick. Okay. I look quick, but I'm not allowed to address anything, <laughs> anything. 
So I look quickly to kind of just put in the back burner. I put my phone down and I decide I'm doing my first 10 new connections, which are super easy and my 10 follows on Instagram. And that doesn't really require a whole lot of energy before my coffee. And you know, it's discipline. Like I really think I, Alethea was, that was my biggest thing is I was squirrel. I was all over the place and, and I just don't think since doing this, I have more time and I'm kind of like, wait a minute, what should I be doing? And I'm like, well, no, you're so honed in and efficient now that it's, and so when you start doing it and what I also do, oh, I don't have it here. Um, on the back of my activity tracker, I'll do Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I do my categories. And so when I complete them for each day, I get to check it off. And I'm very proud that I checked it off. And then now that I think I'm seeing this momentum, it's giving me even more fire to keep doing it. And the reason I actually thought of this was because of the, um, the slight edge and the compound effect. Because that what the thing that they both say in there is, you don't have to do massive, moving mountains every day. Like I was inviting 75 people in one day and then I didn't want to look at it for like a month. So what he says in the slight edges, do a little bit every day. Now this might seem like a lot, but I am telling you it's not that bad. So I'm like, I can do 10 follow-ups, boom, 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 done. So I think if you start to do it and maybe get an accountability partner, that you guys are like, okay, did you do your five by 10 rule? And you start to see a pickup in your business, which I, I'm hoping it's not a fluke because this would all be garbage. Um, I think you'll be like, oh, I'm going to keep doing it. I have a question. Excuse me. Do you follow only on Instagram public accounts or do you follow the private too? Um, private too. I do private only if they're mutual friends. So um, first, if, if they're not, like if I'm, I go to one friend that I have and then I'm gonna go follow, do the 10 follows, I'll quickly look if they're a public or a private. If they're private, um, like I may do it if we have a lot of mutual friends, like if we have 16 mutual friends, I will. And I kind of know them through high school or whatever. But if I really don't, then I probably won't. Because then I think it's, people might be like, who's that? On Facebook though, I will say, Facebook is a little bit of a different vibe. Nowadays, it's, I feel like it's fair game. People are always networking and friending. And so um, I'll, I'll, I'll just go to town and friend people all the time. And who cares? As you talking, I just did that. I went on Facebook, pull it up, and like friend of like 10 people. There you go. You're still surviving. <laughs> Thank you. Someone had asked a question there, Deb, as far as how do you save someone's profile in collections? Oh. Um, okay. So you're going to go to this. Can you guys see that at all or no? You're going to go to the yeah. search button. You're going to go to the top and hit tags. So I'm going to tap, this is 30. That's one of the ones that I, um, okay. So this is what I was talking about before guys. You don't want to go to the top people. They're not going to see you. They probably have 10,000 followers. I click recent. Okay. So, and don't go to this girl because she's probably a coach. So we're not going to go to her, but look how pretty this girl looks and nice and normal. Maybe she could be on my team. So what I would do, there's that little, you guys see that little tag button? You tap it and it gets filled in. I hope you can see that. And it comes up and says save to collection. You seeing that? So what I do when I tap it, I hit save to collection and I have three collections, potential coaches, challengers, and the work. Cause the work I was kind of collecting guys. Um, 
and then I do potential coaches and then that person is in there. Later, to find that, that's tricky, actually took me a while. Go back to your profile. Here, Deb, I'm just gonna show you. So, yeah, so you they go. can see on the screen. So here's Robin's. Um, write that little bookmarky type tab. You click on that and you see where it says save to collection. That's where it is. So you go, let's go back, save to collection. And then you can come in and hit the plus sign there and add and create your collections, just like you would an album in, in your photos. And then you can add different people here. I've got a whole bunch of different collections by alphabet, but that's what you can do. That's what Deb's talking about, where she can say potential coaches, potential clients, and you can add them right in there so that when she needs to go back and reconnect with people, she has them right there. Okay. And Alethea is asking, where do you find them? Okay. So go back to your um, profile page, Alethea, and go to the, the lines in the corner for, and then you tap settings and then you go down to account. Again, I can put this in the chat after in the crush it. And then you go to saved and you'll see your, um, your got it. Okay. Sorry, let's see. Perfect. Any other questions? I'll make a quick comment, Deb. I think that was just absolutely fantastic. I want to ask a question. You know, I think, you know, we have awesome training. We've got checklists out the wazoo. We've got power hours, we've got all these things that new coaches have and, and current coaches have. But what Deb just broke down sounded super simple, right? And it sounds really easy to do it even on a post-it note because that's something that you can even put in your wallet or in your pocket. So when you have pockets of time, and I know for me, when I worked in my corporate job, I had pockets of purpose time. That's all I had. So if I had 15 minutes, what I love about that, Deb, is I wish I had a sticky note back then. Like I still live with sticky notes. Like I'm still such a paper girl. But for me, what an easy way for your task. And what I used to do back in the days, I'd actually post my sticky notes on the days of what I did. So I keep that um, as a like as a as a moving. I think I'm going to do that now ahead or now because that's such a great practice deb it's so simple it's so easy the other thing that the other thing to remember too is deb made a really good point about don't write everybody's name down i love that you're right like when i look at my book right now there's not a million names here unless i'm engaging in conversations with them because otherwise you're just writing down names being like i did this and you are literally wasting your time because you're pretending that you made all these connections and no one messaged you back like, amen to that, Deb. So I think that there's a huge differentiator between wasting time and really making those meaningful connections. So I think you just hit the nail on the head and it's such easy things. And I, I love the method of like five by 10. Like I do that with our coaching clients where I talk about like pick four fruits from the category, pick four vegetables and people get that, right? This isn't easy guys. This is so simple. So I hope really that everybody goes back and listens to this again. Um, and I just, Deb, I just, anyway, that's my two cents. Like this is very simple. And this is how I built my business from Teamsy. Teamsy was broken into categories. Mm -hmm. How many coaches did you connect with? How many clients did you connect with? How many potential clients? And that's how you determined how much money you were going to earn based on the people that you connected with. And you just nailed it, Deb. And I love that you gave a little bit more of that knowledge to really niche in and really be using the tools that are in training, but now you need to put it into action. So I just, I'm, I'm so impressed. That was awesome, Deb. Thank you. Yeah, I truly feel this is what moves the needle of our business that we all kind of leave to the last minute. You want to go in your challenge group and, and it's like, if you can tackle this, I just think this is, this is it, you know? So The problem is, is it's very simple to not do. <laughs> it's so simple to do, but it's so simple to avoid. But then, but then you, you have to really ask yourself what, where are you going? So if you really are, 
you know, and, and this is, you know, not really off topic, but I have my goals written everywhere. I have sticky notes on my computer, how much money I want to make by December to start diamond December 1st, which I changed that now to October. But like, I, you've got to, what do you want? Write it down everywhere. I have notes in my closet, like a psycho. My husband's like, you're so weird. I'm like, whatever. Um, and then when I don't feel like doing my five by 10, I'm like, I can't escape it. It's like, okay, you got to do it because it's everywhere and you're putting it out there. So if you don't feel like it and you don't do it, then ask yourself, what, where are you really wanting to go? And if you really want to go, start writing it down everywhere, telling everyone so you're accountable. Awesome. I have a question. So with the doing the 10 follows on Instagram, I know we have the follow and follow. Do you ever unfollow? And what yeah. about having that ratio? Yeah. So right? I, I didn't want to get into it, but um, I do. I do once a week. Actually, I do do this on Sunday. I use um, cleaner. I know there has been some people, there's an app called cleaner that is, have said, they got blocked, but I don't. And so on cleaner, what you do is when you pull it up, it will show you um, who you're following, but they're not following you back. And I can't get in right now. I do 10 unfollows once a week. So when I first decided that I had to fix my Instagram like six months ago, because Instagram is where it's at, I had followed like a million people and I had way more people I was following that were following me. And I went through and audited the crap out of it and got rid of a ton. So now, you know, I've done this all organically. I have 940, whatever, that um, are following me and about 600, 500 that um, I'm following. So I like to keep a little bit of a gap. So just once a week, I go back into cleaner and I unfollow 10 people. And I think if you're only doing that little, you don't get like flagged and whatever. That's helpful, thank you. Hey Deb, I have a quick question. So you have 4,500 Facebook friends. So it sounds like you're investing a lot more time adding people to Facebook. Um, we are, we have like started to add some women that are older on our team and I'm wondering if that's maybe the market for them. Like, is there a reason? Are you finding most of your people on Facebook or? That no. was more comfortable for you? No, actually it was, people were adding me. <laughs> That's the honest to God truth. I don't know when I, I think Mike member, I was like, why am I getting all these requests? So I, a, a few months into coaching started my, it was blowing up. I was getting a hundred requests a day. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And they're real people. So I, a lot of those like 80%, I didn't add, they, they added me. Um, but as far as I think, cause it's my age group, I'm 48. I do have more of a following on Facebook in that sense because it is older. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Yeah. I, that's how it grew from, I don't know why I was getting those requests early on. Lexi, Lexi says, because, because of those abs. <laughs> oh, stop it. And here's, here's the ironic part too. Deb discovered this through a cold call invite. <laughs> Deb became a coach from a random cold call invite, didn't know the person. She's like, yeah, okay, sure. Sounds cool. Sign me up. And she's here. So don't miss out on a dip, right? By not following the five by 10. I, I don't think we'll have time to run through like yeah, mm, okay. mm, rent, you know, and uh, a mock one, but again, take action. You guys, before you go to bed, at least while it's fresh in your memory, at least start creating your five collections that you know now that you can add people to you. If that's the only thing you do before you go to bed, because it will literally take a few minutes, create those collections so that tomorrow you can start adding people into those collections. Just again, so, so it's at, cause so many times we, 
and it's funny i was joe and i again we're talking about oh it's the training oh my god the training was so good i just loved it oh my god i just can't wait to re-watch it again and not do anything right it's like no before you go to bed do something even if it takes five ten minutes right go create your collections and if you have more time add five people to each collection right Kim, are you at the June Motel? That wallpaper looks familiar. I'm just like tilting my screen so everybody can see this rose room. Well, only the June Motel can a leopard sweat yeah, I'm and, and, in here, and guys. floral wallpaper look good together. Um, can I just do a really quick shout out because I missed uh, the, the um, recognition, guys. Um, thank you, Deb. That was amazing. I, you just lit a fire under me. Here's another thing, guys. Find coaches that level you up. Deb, you level me up. And I just wanted to say thank you for showing up as a badass leader in our diamond chat every day. And I'm super proud of you. And I love rocking this business with you. And I'm super proud of what you guys do and Soul Fit Union. Yes. So thank you for that. Um, secondly, just wanted to say a massive shout out to Chasta Bradley and Kate Murray for hitting Emerald um, last week. And I also wanted to say a huge congratulations to uh, these brand new coaches that are in month one of success starters, Caitlin Bullock, Jessica Clater, Sally Fung, uh, Annabelle Minifee, Kate Murray, and Anna Tan. And a huge congrats to Susan Higgins, who's in her second month of success starters, which means if she uh, goes through for this month, she has earned her ticket to Summit in New Orleans. And ladies, um, some of you have also earned a call with um, the, the recognition call. So really, really excited for you and a huge welcome. I see some of you on the call tonight. I see Tanya. I need to like keep going over. Um, but welcome to the October business Academy. There are a lot of new coaches that have been added into that group. So I just wanted to say a massive welcome for many of you. This was the first calls you had of the night. Um, Georgia, thank you for doing the success starters call and just really excited to have you guys here and um, kick off yet another incredible training and business academy welcoming you to this solid, incredible team and collaborative culture. We're so excited. You can tell by, obviously by even Deb's call and Mike and all the other leaders on the team, this is a we thing. And we're really proud to have you guys on team. And oh, and I see Maggie. Yeah, and there's these small boxes. Anyway, so congrats guys and welcome to Crush Nation. Oh, sorry, Deb, just before we turn off a couple other questions. Um, so, some are interesting too. Um, can you add people to collections even if they don't follow you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of them, almost all, a lot them, of them most won't. Most of them don't follow you at that right. point. Yeah, absolutely. And here, here's always a fun one. And I know my answer, but how do you know who looks like a potential coach? <laughs> Well, so this goes back to really, really getting granular on who is your avatar. So your avatar is basically the person you are speaking to and, and you really have to figure out who that is and it could be different for everyone. So I'm a 48 year old woman who's worked as a physical therapist for 22 years. I have a son, I have a doctor husband, I have whatever. I have experiences in life that are going to make me unique to certain people and they're going to be attracted to me and I'm going to be attracted to them. So, but then the new mom is in a different phase of her life than me. So first thing you have to do is really figure out who's going to relate to you and who are you going to relate to? And you've got to go down and really get specific to their age and their interests. Are you like a big hiker? Are you a big... So once you figure that out, and there's a lot of training on that, there's a lot of um, training on Instagram and all sorts of uh, places, then you kind of have an idea who you're looking for when you open your phone. Now, that being said, when I do the hashtag search, I'm not spending 20 minutes going through the profile. Well, is she, is she, is she not? You, you're just making a really quick judgment and an overall impression of the person look at their page. They have a nice bright photo. Go in there, have a look. Oh, they're hiking. They're in the Arizona desert. I love Arizona. They, they're a cyclist like me, whatever it is. And just make a quick decision that basically if you can say, 
they're not a creeper and they're, you know, then go ahead and follow them. I mean, it's not like you're signing a contract. <laughs> I mean, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but it's better to just kind of go in there and do it quickly. So I would suggest if anyone's really new or they're struggling with who looks like they could be part of their team, you've got to go back and figure out who your avatar is and talk to your upline about what that really means. There was a great podcast um, Melanie Mitro's podcast was amazing. She had Rachel Bell talk all about this. And I did the call for our soul fit team on the avatar. It was amazing. It was gold. So. Thanks, Deb. We also have some really good social media training in the business training Academy on your avatar and on social media. So if you have not seen that new updated training, that might be really good to pop into to the October um, Business Training Academy, and you can find that on the Crush It Fitness membership, or sorry, the Crush It Fitness quarterly marketing plan, and you can add yourself into the new Business Training Academy, because I think it is, I don't know what lesson it is. <laughs> I should know that, but it's in there, and it's incredible, and if you do it, you're going to really niche down on your market, like what Deb said. Cool. We're at 10 o'clock. That was perfect. Um, make sure you go to Super Saturday, the next one in November. Apparently, Carl's got something up his sleeve. I saw a post. Something, something's going on um, that they're going to announce. I don't know what it is. Some teaser was dropped, I think, in the round table. I don't know if Alethea, Kim, if you guys saw that. But yeah, something's going on somewhere. With, so make sure you go to the next event. If you're new, ask your upline. Otherwise, um, Everybody have a great night. And Deb, thanks so much. As usual, you rock. Night, everybody. <laughs>